let's say we were given a box that has 20 gram kilograms of mass. We are pushing this box with a 40 newton force horizontal against a friction force of 6 newtons. The first thing we would look for is the weight. Weight is measured by mass times gravity. Mass of the box is 20 kilograms. Gravity is always the constant 10.0 meters per second squared, which gives us a weight for this box of 200 newtons. 200 newtons acts opposite of the normal force which is the next force we would look for. In this case, our weight is negative 200 newtons because it is acting down. The normal force, which acts exactly opposite of the weight, would then be positive 200 newtons. We would now turn our attention to the horizontal vectors. The first vector represents the push force, which was given to us in the equation, our problem, and the push force is 40 newtons. We would next look at the friction force, which is given to us in the equation, and the friction force in this case is 6 newtons. So we have a 40 newton push force and a 6 newton friction force acting against each other. This makes for 40 newtons in the positive direction and negative 6 newtons in um, the opposite direction because friction acts opposite of the push. We would next turn our agenda to the net force. Net force is the force that's actually going to push the box. To find net force, you would take the sum of all horizontal forces. So for our example, we have a 40 newton force of push and a friction force of negative 6 newtons, which means that net force is equal to 40 newtons plus a negative 6 newtons. This gives us a net force of 34 newtons. Using this 34 newtons, we can use Newton's second law, force equals mass times acceleration, and in this case, net force was 34 newtons, our mass was 20 kilograms, and when we divide this, we find the acceleration of the box to be 1.7 meters per second squared.